Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Chills504 and I'm playing Mod Sauce. Episode number 9 of Chill Sauce and as you can see behind me, I got myself some essence berry bushes. I just got back from a mining trip and I ended up finding an abandoned mine shaft. So it kind of tried to make up for what I did the, uh, or what happened the other day with this exploding and all that kind of stuff. So I built uh, this little building there, built that there, and I upgraded in here. So now I have uh, iron chests. And what I also ended up doing was um, going through the quest book. Just trying to learn a little bit more about the game. You actually don't get anything for these ones here. So, you know, I did the RPGA mod, um, build uh, how to do waypoints, signs to waypoints. I didn't do uh, the crumbs one yet. I need glowstone and bread. And surprisingly, I didn't have bread. It wasn't the glowstone. <laughs> uh, advanced genetics, uh, got into all that. So I have the DNA analyzer, extractor, um, what is that? Decryptor. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff to do with the advanced genetics mod. And uh, that was a lot, or has been a lot of fun working with. So what have I got here? There's my books. So yeah, like I said, I just got back from a mine. Uh, I got the essence berry bush stuff and that just gives you experience so it's gonna come in handy I had a couple downstairs that I put in at the bottom of the stairs you can see them right there and um, I put a whole bunch more out there so I'm probably gonna end up moving these four outside um, also got the fruit press so what you do is you put your apples in here turns it into cider you get some bone meal with it and eventually what you can do is you get a bucket and you move it into the ferment barrel. So you put a whole bunch of uh, young cider in there, add in another wort, and you end up with fermented apple cider. Now, from watching um, B Double and Generic B do Terra Firmacraft, I think that turns it into alcohol. And you got to be careful because uh, you can give yourself alcohol poisoning if it's the same kind of mod. So. Uh, fixed up the house though, made the rest of this cobblestone, touched up the spots where the creeper exploded, and on top of the iron chests, I now have a homeostasis tube. And uh, what that is, is um, for the DNA work, it's a bed. It still allows you to set your spawn and you can sleep at night, but it saves your DNA once it's been changed if you die. So that could come in pretty handy. Um, I don't think I did any other upgrades. This has all been here before. Um, got a bunch more diamonds, uh, lapis and stuff from the mining that I've been doing. As you can see here, the hunter's backpack. Got a ton more lapis, slime balls, uh, ender pearl, which is cool. Can come in handy for a bunch of stuff. I um, guess I'll get rid of the lapis in here just chuck it in here for now the gold ore berry and all that kind of stuff see I've got some iron and gold in there uh, what is that raspberry bush I'm gonna move these out of the way and put um, so I got the aluminum tin oops, and then gold and iron so we got quite a bit and um, it has to be certain growing conditions so I haven't figured out exactly what it is, but you get these ore berries from it. Um, you can't eat them or anything like that. It's uh, meant to be smelted. So the other cool thing I ended up making was a pocket crafting table. So what you can do is if you hit the X button, it clears what's in here. So if I was trying to craft something, um, I don't know if this will work, but you can put in like four blocks like that and whatever that makes will pop out here so you can kind of craft on the go which is uh, pretty handy rather than trying to carry around a, a crafting table plopping it down making sure you have an axe for it all that kind of stuff so um, yeah so I did that what the heck is that oh copper dust I wonder where the heck I got that so all I'm doing now is just emptying out the backpack um, 
you can see now I've got uh, a ton of string I'm going to be making a regular backpack thank goodness um, been getting a lot of arrows which I'm going to need for things I'm doing down the road um, zombie flesh I've kind of stopped drying it now I'm going to get into um, some new kind of food hopefully something that's a little bit more healthy and um, I've been playing around with the uh, carpenter's blocks and stuff like that I ended up making making some um, basically hopper wood barrels so it's the same as a wood barrel but what it does is it can um, take things out of objects and put it into other ones um, I find them I tried to get rid of all those so I can continue picking up more and more stuff as I was out running around um, I got some skin scales from a bat so for the DNA uh, hopefully I'll be able to uh, oops hopefully I'll be able to learn how to fly which would be really awesome okay the adventurers backpack I have no clue I think it's all for flowers and stuff like that so I think I'm gonna end up leaving that one behind from now on uh, also found a ton of redstone and that's not even all of it uh, nope that's just the miners one so I got rid of uh, all this stuff and once I unpack all this I'll show you guys uh, some of the improvements that I've actually been doing and uh, some of the amazing thing full oh my goodness holy smokes so how many we have in there 64 stacks by 64 stacks Wow it's insane <laughs> um, one thing I want to try is where is it one of these rubber trees I think I'm gonna need rubber for things eventually and um, the other thing I wanted to do it takes uh, what is it? Piece of bone meal, some iron, which I have down the bottom. Okay, I'll have to get that after. So when I went mining, I uh, got a ton of emeralds, a uh, ton of diamonds, some amber, uh, topaz. There's the iron and tin ore berries, glowstone dust, uh, a bunch of coal, iron, gold, lead, tungsten, cinnabar more redstone and don't even have enough space to house everything here all right so put those in those in and my emeralds area and uh, one thing I didn't know about emeralds until just recently is inside here as a modifier uh, let's see right here where it says uh, durability 500 if you put an emerald in, it will give you 50% of 50% uh, for an increase, which isn't so good right now because it's only worth 500. Uh, so you'd only get 250. If you put the diamond in, you get 500. But if you're dealing with something that's um, like this here, see this one here. It's got a uh, durability of 3,658. If you add an emerald to that, it would add on 2,000 versus 500. So, and emeralds, I haven't really found another use for it. So, and here you can see uh, another one of my heads from when I died last time. Uh, oh, found an em enderman head from when I fought one down in the uh, uh, mine shaft there. So now what we're going to do... Um, I think the rest of that is done all the rest of this can go down into the basement I'll do the tree thing later um, I think I'll put the ender pearl up here and glowstone dust same with the topaz too I don't know exactly what I'm gonna use that for uh, I tried making a steam dynamo uh, I made it and I uh, just can't figure out how to work it right now so I'm using combustion chambers and stuff like that so here's the essence berry. See if I eat it, it just uh, increases my uh, experience or my XP. So these little uh, 
aluminum ore berries and iron ore berries and stuff like that. If I throw them in here, they smelt, and then I can throw in, you know, the rest of my iron and stuff. You can see now how much I actually have. There's quite a bit in there. And lately, I've just been turning everything to uh, ingots, but. Well, I guess that's not true. It's both been ingots and blocks, just depending on how much I put in there. Iron has been coming in by the droves. Um, the copper, I finally found out where it is. It's not actually on the lower levels. It's on the higher levels. So if uh, I find a cave, I basically just run into the cave, smash a few blocks, and there's tons of it all over the place. So it's actually been working out pretty good. Um, the aluminum is coming in, dark steel, still don't know what to do with. I had tons and tons of silver and lead. That stuff is everywhere. Uh, so it's actually been working out. I did a lot of stuff off cam, and uh, you can see it's paying off. I'm gonna throw some more in there. You can see there what we got. 35 ingots and more coming and is that working I don't think that was actually sitting right hmm doesn't seem to be going anywhere my redstone clock broken it would seem that way all right well that's kind of useless I'll try it on this side see if it works I just got an update on um, the mod sauce pack and some of the blocks went missing I had blocks in here the colorful ones and all that kind of stuff and uh, they just disappeared because uh, they're no longer in the package and I'm getting this weird glitch on my chests now which is really weird uh, anyways so this has actually been working out pretty well and uh, I get rid of the rest of these ores so we got some more mana infused dark iron ferrous more silver and more lead and cinnabar, don't even know what it is. It sounds like cinnamon. Uh, sapphire and amber. Tinberry. And gold. And I guess we'll put the copper dust in there too. Alright, so we got our little crafting table. Alright, everything's empty, which is good. <coughs> Yeah, I kind of have to figure out what's going on with the redstone clock. So anyways, this is what I've been working on for the longest time, guys. Look at this. Not quite done yet. Still got the ceiling to do and stuff like that. But um, I've been hacking down trees like crazy because these things all run on the combustion generator. And it all runs on charcoal. So what it is, is a full DNA breeding system. Um, how to split it, you get organic drop, which I don't even know what it's for, uh, centrifuge. So what you do is you start over on this side here, that should be empty, and you take some skin scales, uh, say from the bat that I ended up poking with. Uh, broke my scraper, I have two more I believe down here. Yep. So all you do is you take that and you scrape um, any mob. Doesn't matter what it is. Could be a horse, could be a bat, could be a zombie, a skeleton, enderman, squid, everything. Um, I have so far have scraped an enderman, a squid, skeleton, uh, now a bat. And uh, you can see I put some filing cabinets in. And see they keep the organic drops. But once you have one item in there, it can only handle one type of item. So I've got my syringes in here. I've got the organic drops in there. And this is the skin scales from the skeleton. And I think that's it. Because I've already been doing a ton of work. These are actually uh, gene 
genes that have actually gone through the whole process. So the whole process is actually this here. This hopper actually runs right into um, the combustion chamber, which is that there, or the combustion generator. So you go into here, you get your cell of a bat, you go into your DNA extractor, put it in there. We can go back and throw another one in there. And then what this does is it gives you one of those little like DNA structure looking things, a helix. And then you go over to the DNA decryptor and you can look in here guys and see how fast this actually goes down. It takes so much power, which is why I was trying to figure out how to do some other kind of power, but I, I figured out how to get it all hooked up and get power into the steam dynamo, but I don't know how to get the power out of it to these other machines. So for now, I'm gonna have to stick with this. Um, all right, so we got that. Throw that back in there. So this one here should be done. It's a basic bat gene. So then what you do is you go over to here, put that in there and you choose what type of gene you want. This one only has a basic, so that's all you can use. This one here, take that out. Go back to your DNA decryptor. And it's just a long, 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 really long process. So once this is done here, you get the basic gene. And see, it's another basic gene, which the basic gene, it's not a bad thing, but it's also not the best. So what I have already done is, where's my genes? In here, you can see there's the basic gene. Now from a skeleton, you can get the infinity gene, which means you'll always have uh, infinite arrows. From an enderman, you can get the teleporter. And then from a squid, you can get the water breather. So I've already done the water breather, which should be right here. It's a filled syringe, and uh, that should give me uh, water breathing. The process that I'm working on right now is to save your inventory. So what you would do is you'd actually have one of these genes would actually come out instead of saying basic gene, it would say something else, which would be, you know, infinity, save your inventory and all that kind of stuff. So to save your inventory, I have to keep adding 14 basic genes or save your inventory genes into this one gene here. Once that's done, I need to, this is where things can get a little painful, uh, that right in the eyeball. And then <laughs> you get blindness for a few seconds. And there's the centrifuge. So what you do is you take your uh, your regular syringe, put it in there, and there's my DNA. So that's uh, the gene save your inventory. What I can do with this, this is my centrifuged syringe, which is my blood. And then we go into uh, this one, DNA combiner. So save your inventory goes into here the filled syringe with my blood goes into here. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna put that save your inventory into that one. So that one is actually done. That's the save your inventory. This one here is the water breathing. So I should, uh, I don't know if I should just like, if I stab myself with it or, because I don't want to put it back in here. I guess it doesn't matter if I do, but I might have to centrifuge it again. There we go. So we have some sort of an effect, nausea. <laughs> for nausea three for about six, six, seven seconds. Now, if everything worked out, 
I should be able to go right into the water and swim. Um, uh, I'm just gonna go here for a sec and get rid of this gold. There we go. All right. Oh, and I was able to fix my button um, for running. It is now control. So that's pretty cool. All right. So if I go in here and I jump into the water, Oh, it worked, guys. You can see the uh, bubbles above my uh, hunger meter, and they're staying there. So now I can actually go underwater as long as I want. And nobody can do a thing about it. So that's awesome. The save your inventory, I'm not sure exactly what that means. Um, I don't know. I, maybe when you die, you get to save your inventory. And... Uh, some more berries <laughs> so that's what that whole DNA thing is for the other thing that I actually been working on was um, actually I guess I can put the other needle in there the other thing I've been working on is a swimming pool <laughs> now what it is is uh, I don't know if you can see them you can hear some noise but um, yeah, okay, you can sort of see them glitching in and out. Those little hashtag square looking things right there, those are actually fish traps. And um, I filled this room with water and put glass in it just so it looked cool. I've got a whole bunch of gold chests. And what happens? Oh, cool. I had no idea you could actually get enchanted books. Eternal compass. Huh. Bash weightless leather so I thought you were just gonna get fish and like whatever rare drops the fish would have but like I'm getting fishing rods uh, string trip wires enchanted bows look at that looting three holy crow unbreaking three bow power four punch two I can combine those two and get a real badass bow look at that more leather saddle but this is gonna be the new food source even a water bottle um, enchanted fishing rod, soul bound, a soul bound fishing rod. Are you kidding me? What the heck does that do? Use ant bait and bread. <laughs> Unbreaking three, flame one, infinity one. That's okay. I already have that in my DNA soon. Protection four, sharpness four. Whoa. Power three. This is unbelievable. And those, uh, the fish traps are really easy to make. That's why I actually did it. Uh, the hoppers, but after I went mining, uh, it was easy enough. Let's see the, um, the fish, fish trap. Oops. Where the heck is it? fish right there there are four pieces of wood four pieces of string and one lead gives you a trap and the lead is actually really easy I had these gelatinous slimes and um, I just used the two of them and some string to make two leads so I had two gelatinous slimes and you can actually use coagulated blood <laughs> gross so those four traps were pretty easy, and I honestly didn't think they were going to be presenting that much. Especially the enchanted books. That is wicked awesome. Um, yeah, so <laughs> now I've got uh, my DNA dictionaries, and that's for making more parts for this. This is your basic hopper setup. This is the hopper chest. Uh, puts wood into here and sets it on fire. And Here, give me those. Put those in there. I'm sure I have lots in here anyways. Yeah, and I just made a ton of coal. I was out, um, basically just sat out there for, um, I don't know, about 45 minutes. Just whacking away at the trees and planting more and waiting for them to grow and building things and stuff like that. So uh, the one other thing I wanted to do was the uh, watering can. Oh, I forgot the iron. 
right here. All right, so it's a bowl, four ingots, and bone meal. I have a bowl. Uh, no, I guess not. All right, so I'm gonna make a bowl. Oop. That goes in the center. That goes there. We get our iron. And how was that? Oh, and the fast craft is now working too. So now it gives you an example in shade behind it. There you go. So now we have an empty watering can. And, yeah, you know, who cares? There, now we got our watering can. Let's see, I don't have an axe on me, so I better go get one of those. I guess the other thing I should show you guys is uh, what this uh, strange building is here. Please don't blow it up. Please don't blow it up. Please don't blow it up. Oh, you bugger. Look at the explosion. Holy, holy crap. Anyways. This is what this is. I finally made a hole for the skeleton spawner. So the skeleton spawner goes off and in here is those iron spikes. Oh, cool. Crafting item. Part of a low level heart canister can be eaten to restore 10 hearts. Yeah. Fine. So you can see I'm getting some rare drops. The only thing is, is it doesn't work the greatest. Um, well, you can see him. He's sort of glitched out there. There we go. But the hoppers that are underneath there, they don't seem to be collecting very much. Like there's some that do and some that don't. So it's kind of hit and miss, but I've noticed a lot of the stuff sits up there. I don't know how to fix that. So for now, it's doing the job. No, I'm not going to complain. Yeah, I see you there, buddy. Ooh, this guy's strong. Hopefully I'll get his helmet. There we go. What did I get? I thought I got something. There we go. I got pants. All right. So the basic setup is pretty easy. Oop. Except for getting in. That's all it is. Three pieces of glass on top. Spawner in the middle. Put a block underneath. Uh, just I don't even know why that's there to be honest with you. And conveyor belts. These are actually pretty easy to make. Um, I'll show you here. And they have a whole bunch of like different colors and crap. I didn't really care for that. And what it was is the uh, rubber, redstone, iron. And rubber was easy to get. I had a bunch of uh, uh, rubber, I don't know what you call it. I thought it was sap or resin or whatever it was. But So I got that. That's how I got a lot of the bone meal and stuff like that and I'm thinking you can use bone to make weapons because uh, I've always seen inside the menu like bone hammer and the bone sword and that kind of stuff so um, yeah be interesting to see I know I have uh, armor chest now and I don't really need that there it is 
All right, so we'll keep the watering can. Oh, wait, I got a sword. Glowstone sword. Ooh. Plus nine for attack damage. Nice. Wow. It's actually pretty good. Better than my stupid little six one. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the new axe that I have. Steel lumber axe. This thing is going to be like the legendary axe of the west. Um, you look inside here. It's uh, durability is plus 50%, so 5,061. Um, 8.6 for speed. I put the emerald on, which is where I got that. Um, I used a couple pieces of moss ball on this one and the excavator. To get the moss ball was actually pretty easy and hard. I just had to go out and find um, cobblestone, uh, mossy cobble, and then put it into a, like a square pattern with the center empty, and it makes the moss ball. And then put redstone on it just to uh, make it faster. So with this here, should clear out the whole thing. Fantastic. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to plant the uh, rubber tree. And this is a, a mega mega rubber tree. So I'm kind of uh, excited to see. Mega rubber sapling. I don't know where to, if it's mega, I should clear a pathway for it. And then we'll, uh, hopefully I can be far enough away that I don't suffocate inside it and uh, get a whole bunch more rubber because it's gonna whoa okay whoa they weren't kidding when it said mega holy crap oh it only takes out the chunk hmm I'm getting raw rubber I just want to jump up here. That's what it was. Okay. So if I get up here. Whoa. Cool. Holy crap. Took out the whole tree. This is amazing. I, I'm not going to be able to carry everything. Holy crap. <laughs> My inventory is already full. Alright guys, what I'll do, I'll bring you back once I put all this into barrels inside the house and I'll show you how much I actually got. Alright, I'll see you in a few. Alright guys, so as you can see here, we got an insane amount of stuff just from that one tree. Uh, we got three stacks plus 45 of the rubber tree saplings, 33 stacks plus seven of the wood, and then 30, uh, 33 stacks plus three of the rubber from one tree. That is nuts. I still have another sapling in here to do another one. That would, that would fill that right up, both of them, and double that. So that is amazing. Um, I was hoping I'd be able to show you this as well. I got the scraper in my hand. There's a bat out the back of my house. Um, where is he? Right there. See, you scrape him, and he's flaking off those little things. That's to, uh, that's what you use to uh, extract the DNA from him. And then you take those skin cells that I got here. So see, I, I got him a whole bunch. <laughs> And uh, yeah, you take those into the uh, DNA machine, see if you can't get flight. So that's what the plan is for the next episode, guys. I wanted to make this a little bit longer because uh, I kept saying I was going to make things in the episodes and not having enough stuff. So I spent uh, about two or three days mining and uh, gathering resources and stuff like that just because uh, that's messed up. Just because uh, I felt bad keep saying I was going to keep building these things and then it never actually came to fruition so I wanted to spend the extra time to actually figure out what the advanced genetics was and thank goodness it was actually in the quest book without the quest book um, 
The quest book is actually where I got most of the information from on how to do the advanced genetics, which was pretty cool. Uh, it has its own little division, so I need a electrified bow or something like that. That one's not even named, but when you complete one, there's no reward. So, so you get your DNA splitter and it got everything that you need, your breeder, uh, splitter, the decryptor, extractor, everything that you need in order to make it, and a scraper, which I don't even know what, what, what it's for. But that's what they suggested for the power. The um, microscope, you can put your blood under it, and um, you can do this, an antidote syringe, and you have to figure out how to do the antidote syringe. So, anyways, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, next one, uh, maybe I'll try drinking a little bit of alcohol and see what happens to me. I think I still have some bottles. Yes, I do. I got three right there. I wonder if I can... Uh... Oh, crap. Oh, right there. You get tipsy and absorption let's try it right now you guys have yourself an amazing day and i will see you in the next episode guys take care yeah.